Hello, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive. We help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up product schedules in Salesforce. We're gonna look at both revenue and quantity schedules. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, we actually have a video that explains what product schedules are and why you might wanna use them. So, first thing to setting up product schedules is to go into the setup menu in Salesforce. From here in the quick find, you can search for product and product schedule settings will come right up. Under the schedule setup, you have the ability to enable quantity scheduling as well as revenue scheduling. Uh, and you can turn on both if you need both. So I'm gonna turn both on. You can also enable for all products. All this is doing is it's checking the box on the product records that you already have so that that product could potentially have a schedule. If you know you wanna apply it to all products, then check the box, that's what I'm gonna do. If you only want it to be turned on for some of the products, then don't check the box because you can go into the product records individually and check it there to turn on schedules for each one of those products. So I've got it all checked. Our last option here is to enable customization of product schedules. So this is enlightening only, and it allows you to change fields, add validation rules, and, and customize the object in Salesforce for opportunity product schedules. So it's actually the record that stores the data for schedules. I recommend checking this. It's nice to have the option to, to make those changes and customize it to fit your business. So with all that checked, I'm gonna hit save. And in the background, Salesforce is creating uh, and enabling the scheduling records for us to track you know, revenue or quantity over a period of time. So now that we've got that created, we need to modify the product record so that the new fields are visible. So click into Object Manager at the top of the screen and then search for the product object. There it is. And if you go to Page Layouts, we can modify the layout. Now you might have multiple layouts here, so just choose the one that's actually being used. And here, you know, the checkbox actually has been added automatically for us. You can see quantity scheduling enabled has that checkbox there and revenue scheduling enabled has a checkbox too. Now there's additional fields that we can add. These additional fields are going to create a default schedule for that product. So let's take an example here. Let's say you're a consulting company. You always sell annual contracts and you always bill monthly. Well, if that's the case, you can set up a default schedule um, for that particular product, say consulting services. And then whenever you add that product to an opportunity, the schedule's there for you. If, you're, if you don't have consistent schedules like that, if you're gonna have to customize it for every opportunity, then I wouldn't bother with this step because it's not gonna save you any time. But in our example, we're gonna go and add the extra fields. So we've got some fields here and we have to do this twice, once for revenue and once for quantity. So we have number of revenue installments, gonna drag that underneath our revenue checkbox. Number of quantity installments, gonna drag that under the quantity checkbox. Then there's quantity installment period and revenue installment period. And finally, we have revenue schedule type. That's the next one we need. And quantity schedule type, there it is. So actually, I think the best order for this is to do the checkbox first, quantity scheduling enabled, then quantity schedule type, then quantity installment period, and then number of installments. And we're gonna take a look at this in just a second. So if you're feeling confused about what these different fields do, don't worry, you won't be confused for too much longer. Okay, that looks consistent on both sides, looks fine, let's hit save. All right, next step is to pull up some product records. So I'm gonna bring up the product tab here in our developer org. We've got a couple different products. I'm gonna pull in the mini lotion bottles product. So let's say that this is an annual subscription. I'm just gonna change the name just for our example. And editing this product, here's our new fields. So if it's an annual subscription, perhaps I'm sending you know, 10 bottles, 10 mini lotion bottles every month to a hotel, something like that. So let's start with the quantity schedule first. Under quantity schedule, you can choose to divide the amount into multiple installments or repeat the amount for each installment. The quantity schedule is actually looking at the quantity on the product line item in the opportunity. So if we're gonna sell a year's worth of mini lotion bottles, let's say that is 120 bottles. 
and so that's 10 bottles per month. So if the quantity on the line item is 120, then I wanna divide that amount into multiple installments. Underneath that, we can choose what's the time period for the installment. We're gonna do monthly, but of course you do quarterly or, or yearly or what have you. And then under number of installments, I'm gonna do 12. So they're gonna get a year's worth of mini lotion bottles. And I'm going to follow a similar path here on the revenue side. So we're shipping them lotion every month. Let's say that they're paying every month as well. I would divide the total amount into multiple installments. This is the revenue side though, so it's looking at the currency amount, not the quantity. And we're gonna do monthly, and we'll do 12. But it's pretty flexible. So maybe the default schedule is actually you're shipping every month, but they pay you quarterly. That's easy to change. We'll say the schedule is quarterly, and we've got four quarters, and hit save. Now we're on the product record here. So this is, this is just gonna create a default schedule. You don't have to do this on the product record if it's different in every opportunity. Just go through this effort to create a default schedule if it's predictable. And now, if we go to an opportunity, let me pull one up here. I'm just gonna add a product to this opportunity to show you how that default schedule works. So click Add Product here, and we'll choose our mini lotion bottles. Hit Next. That's gonna be 120 is what I'm gonna put in for that quantity, because it's 10 bottles a month for 12 months. And then the sales price, let's say that we sell them for $20 each. That's gonna give us our product record. And we'll click into that product. And you can see the total price is $2,400. Now, because we have schedules enabled, both quantity and revenue, if you come to related, you can see the schedules right here. And if you hit view all, here we have it broken out what's our revenue and what's our quantity record by record and what the, what the schedule date is. So this is the default schedule coming through here. Both revenue and quantity is represented here. And then you can change it with these buttons in the upper right hand corner if you need to customize it for this opportunity. And so that's how you set up revenue and quantity product schedules in Salesforce. Go into setup, check a couple boxes, and then go into the product records where you'd like to set up a default schedule. From that point on, your sales team will be able to use schedules and even customize them within opportunities. If you'd like to see one of our tutorials on how to customize a revenue or quantity schedule once it's been added to an opportunity, please take a look at this related video. We also have a link in the description. Please hit like and subscribe if you found it valuable. Thanks for watching.